Carly. Carly, call 911. Yes, um, can you please send an ambulance to 607 Bradenwood Terrace? It's my nanny. She's dead. When did you find her? Less than 10 minutes ago. She was right there on the floor with the telephone cord wrapped around her neck. Is this her house? Yes, I'm Carly Quintos Jax. That was Leticia Juarez. She was our nanny. And you weren't home at the time? No, I was at the Metro Corp. Were your children here? They're with their father. We were coming here to pick up Leticia and take her over there. And you're Jason Morgan? How soon I can call her family? Not just yet. I need you to tell me who want Leticia dead. I was just... Leticia was here packing up the boys' things. We called her from the hotel to tell her we were going to be stopping by to pick her up on the way to Sunny's. What time was that? 7.30, maybe 7.15. Where's your husband at? He's out of town. I've left messages, but I can't get in touch with him. It's official. Leticia was pronounced dead at General Hospital. I'm sorry. How am I supposed to tell the boys that? How long was Leticia in your employ? Jason hired her when Michael was about a month old. With all the craziness the boys have been through, she's been the one constant. I gotta get to my boys I understand, now. but we're dealing with murder. Man, she needs to see her kids. We need to get this down while it's still fresh in her mind. Okay, just let me take her to Sonny's. I'll come back. I'll tell you everything you need to know. You guys be careful. Okay, come on. It's time to eat. All right, stop. What about mom? Let's see. Alan. Uh, well, she's picking up Leticia at the house, so um, by the time we, you know they get here, it's all gonna be ready. So, what can I do to help? What can you do? Okay, listen. Um, you know, in in school, when the teacher asked what you did for summer vacation, mm -hmm. you can tell them that Kate Howard helped. The oh, Kate he's Howard. He's funny, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Fine. Fine. You're on your own. Hi, Mom. Hi. How are you guys? Good? Yeah. Okay. Kids? Yeah. Go show you. Go, uh, show Kate that you're playing. Yeah, come, playing. come. I've never seen um, it. Will you show me where it is? Uh, all right. I'm assuming it's up the stairs, and I bet you have very expensive toys up there. Yeah. Come on. What happened? Letitia's dead. We found her at Carly's house. How? What? What how? She was strangled. They're sending us a message. I let Jason take Carly to Sonny's. <clears throat> because he's such a stand-up guy? Why does Morgan always get special treatment? Carly already told me like everything she knows. That's good. Now it's your turn. Letitia was packing up the boys' stuff because they were going to stay at their father's. Carly and I stopped by to give her a ride. And I thought I saw something as we approached the house. What was it? I don't know, a shadow, some type of movement. I stopped to take a look. I said Carly inside. That's when she found the table. So you didn't see anything out there? No. What did you see when you came in the living room? Uh, the t-shirt was on the ground, right over there with the phone cord wrapped around her neck. No pulse. I told Carly to call 911. Who removed the cord from her neck? Uh, I think Carly might have. How was their relationship? What's that supposed to mean? Was there any disagreements Carly and Letitia might have had recently? <laughs> okay, listen, Carly was with me this evening. She didn't kill Letitia. Did Letitia have any enemies? Anyone that might have done something like this? Ask Trevor Lansing. Trevor Lansing is Rick's father. He's chief attorney for Anthony Zakara. The New York mob boss? Yeah. And Trevor claims that he's here to visit his son, his old friend Kate Howard, but we know that he's scouting Port Charles for Zakara. Well, even if Zakara wants to move here, how does that equate with a dead nanny? Because Zakara has a history of coming at his rivals by terrorizing their families. Look, I assume Sonny's got guards protecting his family. I'll cover him with some police Thank details. You. Is there anyone you want protected? No, no one. What about Sam? 
Okay. We all know how much you love the island, right? You're going to be safe there, and I'll come there as, as, as much as I can. And I'm going to make sure you guys get there myself. Yeah, and Jason is going to make sure everything's perfect before he comes back home to help you dad, okay? Come on. Come on, guys. Sorry, Curry. That you gotta put your life on hold once again because of me. Nothing's more important than protecting the kids. I'm gonna call Letitia's family when I get to the island and tell them. If you need anything from me, you, you let me know. Yeah. Jax, you know, I gotta tell him what's going on if he shows up at our house and the crime scene there. I understand. Gonna you're, you're, you're gonna have to call him from the jet. Okay? He's gonna have to understand that this is the right thing to do. I know, I know. And I know as long as I'm with you, I'm gonna be okay. 